a second. Okay, so do you see something saying you're being recorded right now, Jose? Yes, Mr. Reese. Okay, totally. Awesome. So, Jose, um, you saw a video recently that, yes, California CalExit had did to the, uh, her gun, to the people of Iran. Uh, in your words, what did you think of that video? Honestly? Yes, okay, um, so I saw the whole thing the whole the whole uh, thing and pretty much um i agree with everything you said um so foreign policy has always been an issue with the united states so i mean that includes iran of course so i i believe if we become a independent nation um a lot of the issues around the world will go away so um i actually i'm actually Honored that Iran would support us, to be honest. So let me ask However, you a few more questions. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Let me ask you a couple point blank questions because this is some of the feedback we're getting. So when I said Californians are not as enthusiastic about military invasions as Americans, and we protested the wars in Vietnam and Iraq, and we generally are a peace loving hippie place that isn't that big on militarism. Was that a lie or you're here in California? Is that our California culture? Did I say something way out of whack or is that just plain old truth around here? Your words, sir. Yes, honestly, I believe most people, most Californians will agree with you. There's always those exceptions. I know a few people who are, you know, they're sure. pro-USA, but most will agree with you. Okay. Okay, when I, I've also told the Iranian people that part of the reason, you know, California loves cultures we love reaching out to other people not saying i agree with everything the iranian government does or says i'm just saying we californians want a dialogue we like building bridges we like reaching out americans threaten to blow you up as a way of getting you to say what they want californians just kind of keep talking to you and pestering you with our good nature and ideas Am I way out of line when I say that? Or again, is that kind of a California culture versus America difference? Your words. Completely agree. I think there's um, there's a California mentality and there's an American mentality. Hmm. The California mentality, like you said, is more inclusive. It's more about peace. And the American is the complete opposite. So, I mean, I, I, once again, I believe you're, you're spot on, honestly. Last thing I want to ask you, though, um, I'm Latino, you're Latino, Sir? that doesn't really matter as much as that we're Californians and we're endor endorsing our identity, but I got to ask you something. This is something I told the Iranians. They go, why are you willing to talk to us? America says we're bad. Why are you willing to stand up to American imperialism? And I go, because my, mi abuelita, when I was un niño, told me, and my mom didn't, my, my mom, who's full Mexican, didn't really like my abuelita bringing this up. And she's all, come on, mom, don't say that. I'm trying to teach them the right things. But I think my abuelita was right. And she says, you know why there's Latinos in America? Hondurans, Guatemaltecas, Mexicanos, Baja. It's because America invaded all those countries, shot everybody, blew everything up, destabilized the whole thing. So we had to get the hell out. So America ruined our countries. Going back to uh, Roosevelt, Teddy, and that's why we're here. My mom hated hearing that, but my grandma was like, that's the truth. Have you ever heard that story from an abuelita or other Latinos in Califia talking about their abuelitas explaining the real history of why we're here? I agree. Once again, I agree with everything you said. Um, unfortunately, I haven't. A lot of my family, they're from Mexico, Central Mexico. They're more the more ignorant on the issue. But I completely agree. The United States has been key to destabilize our countries. Mexico, Central America, Salvador, Civil War. Um, all those countries in Latin America have been, in some ways, I don't want to say ruined, but destabilized, I guess, by the United States. Us, but okay, specifically us Mexicans, this used to be part of Mexico, as you know, the United States... Pretty much, <laughs> that's what I see. I, I they store land, but okay, that's a different subject. Sure. But yeah, I completely agree. 
with everything you said. Last question, Jose, and I'd like to keep the dialogue going. Uh, we'll post this up and share it with you. Um, we would love to talk to more random Californians. Now, here's the thing. In the CalExit movement, we got started really big when Trump won and Californians were shocked in 2017. It's been about three years. Now, some people have said, hey, I don't see CalExit out there as much. And we always said that's because of rumors and misinformation. The fact is, is that maybe the CalExit movement stopped doing as much as it did. But no one in California stopped believing that California could be a nation. Now, I've never met you before. You saw me through this video. I imagine you've been in California for years. Let me ask you, as somebody not connected to the CalExit movement, total random person I met recently talking about CalExit, have you ever stopped believing that California could operate like a nation or that we basically already act like a nation and don't care what the feds say? And Am I wrong or have you been thinking that the last couple of years, no matter what? I will say, um, I mean, I was born here in California. I will say, at least since I've been a teenager, I've had that mentality, California, we're ready to be a country. We have a big economy. We have all the resources. So in my personal opinion, I've always believed in that. However, I haven't heard many people talk about the Cal Accent movement, to be honest. But, I mean, I would love to spread the word. And hopefully this, uh, we can have our own nation. One so day. You, may not, you may not have heard about Cal Exit, but you yourself as a Californian, no one told you to think this. You just kind of thought, yeah, we could kind of be a nation. And I'm guessing you've seen other Californians sort of act or think like that or say things over the past couple of years. Maybe they never mentioned CalExit, but they did say, you know, we kind of are a nation. Am I correct? Way out of line? What's your life experience, sir? Yeah, no, completely. You're correct. I've always heard people say we're, we could be a nation. Hmm. Obviously, without mentioning CalExit, but they've always believed we're strong enough, we're big enough to be a nation. Certainly, I always believe that no one has influenced me i want to be clear so i'm i'm totally <laughs> it's just natural i guess <laughs> a foreign government a foreign government didn't get a hold of you and tell you to think of california as a nation and you've never had that thought before a foreign government reached out to you and made you think that never a foreign government has never influenced me oh. <laughs> i gotta ask because that's what people say they say Californians don't think this. They've never thought of themselves as a different culture. They've never thought of themselves as a nation. And I go, that's a lie. And then the news says, no, that's a foreign government rigged the whole thing and made one third of 40 million people think about secession in 2017. And I go, that's insane. That is insane. No foreign government's going to get a third of Californians to believe anything they don't already want to believe. Am I way out of line here again or am I right? Again, you're completely right. Uh, my name Californian, born and raised. No one's influenced me. It's all natural. <laughs> okay, last question. I'll let you go, brother. Sure. When Gavin Newsom, our leader, Gavin Newsom, goes on TV, and he's talking about coronavirus epidemic, and he says, we are a nation state. Does that make you think that maybe Calix is right around the corner? Yes. Honestly, I, I believe it, it, it's going to happen. Sooner or later, it's going to happen. I'll leave it there, brother. You've done great. Um, I'll send you a copy link. Let's keep talking. Please check out the movement. Yes, California Facebook. There's other groups out there, too. Cali Love. Yes, sir. We'll keep in touch. Okay. I'll send you a copy later. Thank you.